going to show you the installation of a single core 33 kV indoor to trigger voltage. Always read the instruction sheets utilizing the dimensions shown in the mark and cable tools. Using a suitable tool, remove the outer cable jacket as shown. This cable is a single core, unarmoured cable with copper screen wires. The cable shown is a non-armoured SLB cable with copper screen wires. If armoured with aluminium wire armours, a copper tape screen would be present rather than Bend these back out of the way. Remove any fillers. Now peel back the water swallowable tape. Mark out the end of screen cable. This is a bonded semiconductor, so we'll be utilizing a tool to shave this conductive layer. There's no need to use glass for this, the tools are enough. This will do the circumferential cut also to ensure a reliable screen. Clean the primary insulation as you will all carbon deposit. You can do this with the tissues provided. Now stretching to a thin layer, apply the yellow stress mastic tape overlapping the top layer of the insulation by about 10 millimeters and the semiconductive layer by about 20. Now position the stress control tube according to the installation. With a suitable heat source, start shrinking all around the tube until it's fully recovered. The cable installation preparation is similar for 33 kV as it is to 11, 17, 24 kV. Just the component size and length of the cable. Just 
sure the stress control tube is completely shrunk down. Mark the insulation. And remove it, ready to fit the compression type lug or shear bolt cabinet. Now apply red mastic sealing tape to the cable jet. And then bend back the copper screen wires onto the mastic. Once this is done, apply further red mastic tape over the top of the screen so that we get a good moisture seal and this track tube is free. Using PVC tape to hold back screens and place them. After applying the same red mastic to the lug valve, the anti-track tube Position on the copper. There's no need for a lug seal on this type of termination. If you wish to fit one, be sure you have a mastic red sealing tape underneath the lug seal so the moisture cannot get under. Apply the heat evenly around the tube and work it down. shouldn't need to trim it, but if you do need to trim the, the anti-track, use a sharp knife. As this is a single core 33 kV indoor tank operation, one anti track rain shed will be needed. If it was outdoor, the tail length would be longer and four rain sheds would be fitted. Position this according to the instructions on the back. The collar of the rain shed will be fitted. Again, even manner. Ensure it's fully shrunk to the core and then the tail. Now quite often 
rain sheds are fitted onto a cable termination before the cable is installed up onto the pole or drop bar. Often sheds can become knocked about, so what you want to do is, once the cable has been installed and connected to its load fixing point, apply a little bit more heat around the shed to ensure any gap is removed. And if you've used any PVC tape on the core for phase identification, please remove this tape. carbon deposit can get underneath and will track the termination is now 